Oh my goodness, I don't know if I can recover from Patty. First of all, please let me take a moment and just thank God because I have to do that first and foremost. But back to the performances. Can I just say, Miss Patty LaBelle, can we all please just be thankful that she exists? Um, Jennifer Hudson, Voice to Men and Coco Jones, we have beautiful tribute. I'm, I'm blown away. I'm just blown away. It's just like people asking me, how do you feel when people are doing your songs? And I'm like, I'm sitting here going, that would have been a good idea if I, I, I wish I could have done that. What, what was I thinking? I don't know. But anyway, it's always um, amazing to be called an icon, but it's really very humbling to be called one on a show that takes the time to honor the incredible people that are honored here tonight. I grew up watching so many of tonight's honorees and aspired to even be somewhere close to close enough to breathe the rare air of their presence so you can imagine how special this is for me. And to quote Bowfinger, just for laughs, just for laughs, <laughs> I want to tell you a little Eddie Murphy story that I have. Okay, he's like, what is she doing? But this is what I have to do. Okay, 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 so this is what happened. So when I first released my very first single, Vision of Love, I was at the airport and barely anybody had he heard of me or seen me or anything like that. And somehow I snuck away from my first ex-husband and um, wound up, <laughs> it's true, and, and wound up in an airport store uh, when suddenly I looked up and Eddie Murphy my favorite star of all time, said to me, the unknown girl who had one song, maybe they spun it three times on some one station somewhere, I don't know, but he goes, hey, aren't you Mariah Carey? And I'm like, okay, I can do a couple things here. Um, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I, I, I can act like that didn't just happen, it's perfectly normal, or I can, um, I don't know what, so I just, I don't know, maybe I was in shock or something, but I just looked right at him and I said, aren't you Eddie Murphy? Like, so obnoxious, so rude, I was mortified. And, and, and I, I just did it, you know? And then, and, then, <laughs> and then every time I would see him, I would like rehash the story again. And he'd just kind of like roll his eyes at me and I'd just be laughing like, wasn't that funny that time I humiliated myself? But anyway. <laughs> Um, <laughs> anyway, I've spent my lifetime uh, creating and, and writing music, at first as escapism when I was a child and then to make a living, and now it is my entire existence. At a very young age, I found myself in the middle of this business of music, they call it. While it's become my profession, I'm in this industry because music is part of my soul. So really, thank you, Byron Allen, and everyone on the team that put this show together tonight, really just raising up black excellence, raising up each other, you know, just to be a part of this and to be in this room has taken me to, to a place where I don't even know how to express it, but I, I, I just wanted to say to see all this spectacular talent together under one roof being acknowledged for what they were born to do is amazing, and I am so thankful to be a part of it. Good night. <laughs>